Good morning, Ken Sachs here. Coldwell Banker Northwest Group, Spokane, Washington. It was in the national news today on the Today Show that nationally home sales have plummeted. So, cause for an alarm? Well, let's remind folks here locally in Spokane that our uh, sales year to date through July, we're still at an 11% increase in sales, again, year to date uh, through July 2010 versus the same period last year. So 11% increase in sales. The other interesting thing is we're finally starting to see an increase in sales for new construction. For example, sales of newly constructed homes uh, year to date now in Spokane, uh, there's a 6.4 increase year to date. So some good news there. Interesting question I was asked last week. Uh, I was asked, what are the uh, five ways to take advantage of today's real estate market? So I thought a fantastic question. I wanted to share it with you. So I put together a list. Uh, if you're considering purchasing a home in the next year or six months or a year and a half, talk to a lender now. I've said this before. It is so important if you know you're going to be purchasing a home. Talk to a lender. A good lender should counsel you on your credit tell you what to pay off, what not to pay off, what not to do, don't buy that new car, don't buy the new furniture, don't open any lines of credit, but talk to a lender because you don't want to wait until you found that house you're ready to buy and oh my gosh, you see all these red flags on your credit and that's going to significantly adversely affect your score which is going to increase your interest rate. So if you know you're going to be buying, be proactive, talk to a lender, get a look at your credit report and do those things necessary over the time between now and when you're going to buy to give you the best credit score possible which in turn will give you the best rate. Rates? Rates are still fantastic. We're still seeing our 50-year lows, not seeing much of an increase if any with interest rates. So that's number one. Uh, number two, if you have any positive equity in your house, consider refinancing. With the loans we're seeing today, you could refinance take that cash and think about putting that cash into an investment property and I'll bet you you'll be surprised at what your new payment will be on your primary property plus you'll be able to purchase an investment property one of the best ways to accumulate wealth in this country is real estate and also uh, look into taking advantage of a short sale opportunity a lot of confusion about short sales short sales are not uh, it does not mean that it's going to take a shorter amount of time to buy a house Conversely, it's going to take longer. A short sale simply means a lender has agreed to accept less uh, on the home than what is owed. The things to know about a short sale is you can't be in a hurry. I've done several short sales this year and it's taken four to six months to get lender approval. So once buyer and seller agree on terms, it then goes to a lender, the seller's lender, and that lender then has to approve it. So you got to wait for that lender approval, and that's where it could take four to six months. So be aware of that, but it could be a great opportunity if you're not in a big hurry. The last thing, uh, consider a 1031 tax exchange. And a 1031 tax exchange is where you take one investment property, you sell it, and you take that money and you put it into a larger, more profitable property. Now, you can't touch any of the proceeds, but this is a way to move up into investment property and maybe acquire something that's a little more profitable. It does require a 1031 facilitator and again I'm not an attorney or an accountant you're going to want to check with those professionals to make sure that makes sense for you. And actually this is the last thing uh, explore a trustee foreclosure sale. I know here in Spokane every Friday at 10 a.m. they're selling uh, homes at the courthouse uh, that have gone into foreclosures. Now there are companies out there that will charge you and offer services to do this for you, but in essence, you're paying for something you can do yourself. So, if that's something that's of interest to you and you're local, for sure give me a call. I have the contacts necessary, I have the experience. We can identify, do our due diligence, and find some foreclosure properties at well below market prices. The last thing I saw yesterday came across the lines. I thought this was interesting. The five most affordable housing markets across the country. And this is based on uh, if a family uh, have to pay no more than 28% of take home for housing expenses. So based on that, the number one most affordable market, Syracuse, New York, median price is $88,000. Indianapolis, median price 113. Detroit, median price 85,000. Youngstown, Ohio, median price $74,000, and Bluff, uh, Buffalo, New York is $112,000. And just for the record, median price in Spokane right now is going to be 
$191,074. That's it, Ken Sachs, Coal Banker Northwest Group, home of the free handyman for life.